हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर आनंद माने अप्लाइड केमिस्ट्री फैकल्टी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बेसिक साइंस एंड ह्यूमैनिटीज कोल्हापुर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड अटेंडेंस इंस्टीट्यूट कोल्हापुर इन लेक्चर विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंप्रूडीज प्रेजेंट इन वाटर फ्रॉम यूनिट नंबर वन वाटर टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ अप्लाइड केमिस्ट्री सब्जेक्ट जनरली वेरियस इंप्यूरिटीज प्रेजेंट इन वाटर आर क्लासिफाइड एज डिजॉल्ड इंप्यूरिटीज सस्पेंडेड इंप्यूरिटीज कोलाडल इंप्यूरिटीज बायोलॉजिकल इंप्यूरिटीज एंड फ्लोटिंग इंप्यूरिटीज एज वी नो वेरियस इंप्यूरिटीज प्रेजेंट इन वाटर बट देर शुड बी अ प्रॉपर क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ इंप्यूरिटीज प्रेजेंट इन वाटर बिकॉज इफ वी नो द टाइप ऑफ इंप्यूरिटी देन वी कैन सिलेक्ट अ पर्टिकुलर मेथड फॉर द प्यूरिफिकेशन ऑफ वाटर एंड टू मिनिमाइज दैट इंप्यूरिटी Dissolved impurities are of three types. Again, uh, first one is inorganic dissolved impurities, organic dissolved impurities, and uh, dissolved gases. In case of inorganic dissolved impurities, uh, generally inorganic salts are there, which have origin from rocks and industrial implements. And whenever any salt dissolves in water, uh, that it will produce cations and anions, and contribute to cationic impurities, including calcium cation, magnesium cation, sodium cation, iron cation, aluminium cation, manganese cation, and many more. Likewise, anionic impurities includes uh, counter anion of a particular cation like uh, sulfate anion, nitrate anion, fluoride anion, chloride anion, carbonate anion, bicarbonate anion, and uh, uh, many more. Uh, dissolved organic impurities includes uh, organic salts like uh, soaps and detergents. Whereas dissolved uh, gases includes uh, uh, carbon dioxide, oxygen, nitrogen, ammonia, hydrogen sulfide, etc. Then uh, dissolved inorganic salts like bicarbonates, chlorides, and sulfates of calcium and magnesium, they will impart a hardness to water. And generally, we can remove these dissolved uh, inorganic salts by using different uh, techniques, water production techniques like ion exchange method, uh, soda lime treatment, and reverse osmosis process. Uh, where dissolved gases like ammonia and hydrogen sulfide, they will impart bad odor to water. Whereas oxygen, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen dioxide lead to boiler corrosion, as they have a strong affinity towards metal, and they can uh, corrode metal or metallic material. Uh, however, dissolved gases uh, can be removed by deaeration and specific chemical treatment if uh, boiling is not uh, uh, suitable. Uh, then suspended impurities are nothing but the uh, impurities which will uh, suspend into uh, water and includes uh, uh, leaves, branches, oil globules and inorganic impurities such as clay, sand, etc. Organic matter uh, impart color, odor to water and alter its taste. Organic impurities can be removed by filtration, sedimentation and disinfection of water. Whereas inorganic suspended impurities impart turbidity to water and can be removed by filtration and uh, coagulation process. Colloidal impurities are generally difficult to remove as they are charred particles and they are always in a continuous motion and therefore it is difficult to settle down these colloidal impurities. Generally colloidal impurities are solid uh, uh, impurities uh, present in finely divided and suspended state. These impurities impart color and turbidity to water. Inorganic impurities like iron and aluminum hydroxide can be removed by filtration and coagulation, uh, whereas organic suspended impurities like oil globules, animal waste matter, humic acid, etc., they require specific uh, chemical treatment. Biological impurities are nothing but uh, uh, biological in origin, just like bacteria, protozoans, viruses, etc., which cause uh, diseases. These impart uh, uh, color, odor, and turbidity to water. These uh, impurities can be removed by disinfection of water by means of chlorination and boiling. And the floating impurities are nothing but the impurities which float onto the uh, water here because they are light in weight. The floating impurities include uh, dried leaves, uh, wooden pieces, uh, plastics, oil, uh, uh, oil molecules which will impart peculiar taste uh, and water to the water. And generally we know that the floating impurities can be removed by simple filtration uh, technique here. That finally, we conclude that uh, uh, impurities present in water are uh, classified as uh, dissolved impurities, um, suspended impurities, colloidal impurities, uh, biological impurities, and floating impurities. And once you know the type of impurity, just like uh, a floating impurity like plastic piece, then we can use a filtration technique for the removal process. Once you know the uh, nature of the impurity, just like suppose colloidal impurity, then we can choose likewise, suppose. Uh, uh, 
oil molecules are there then we can uh, choose specific chemical treatment to remove the uh, particular impurities there that is the, the impurities present in water uh, that uh, uh, is needed uh, classification is needed here to select a particular method for the purification of water technique thank you